This is a tutorial on how to import collected data from a GPS into a pa GPS Pathfinder Office and then convert it into an Esri shape file. So you can use it on ArcGIS. The first thing is to open up GPS Pathfinder. And uh, you need to go ahead and sync your GPS with your computer by using ActiveSync. Um, you just do that by plugging it in using the USB cord. Um, once in here, just click OK on that. We're going to go to Utilities and click on Data Transfer. There's also another option you can do for data transfer. It's this button right here to the side. It brings you to the same place. Now we are receiving data from the GPS, so we're going to keep it on this tab. And we're going to come over here to the where to add, and we're going to choose Data File. And this is going to let us choose what data we want to take from the GPS and bring to Pathfinder. We're just going to use Sample for this exercise. And then we're going to transfer all. And as you can see, it's been successful. So we're just going to close out of this. Now, it's been added to Pathfinder, but it's not a shape file. It's an SSF file. So what we have to do is we have to convert that into shape files. And the way we do that is we go to File, Open. And we're going to add it first to this map and this is all the data that we have but we can't really make a map in here so what we're going to do is we're going to convert it so what we want to do is we want to go to utilities and we're going to export and down here we're going to click on new and from here we choose what kind of file we want to save it as and we want to save it as an Esri shape file so then you just click OK. And in here, this is uh, there are some things that you're going to do in here. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the attributes. Now what this is doing is from your data dictionaries that you may have created or someone else may have created and you used, this asks what, you, what data you want to be associated with the shapefile. So um, your safest bet is just to go through and select everything. Now, it's better to have more information than little because you can always turn those fields off in uh, Esri. But if you forget to transfer them, you, you lose them and you have to go through this all again to get them. So it's just better to go through and transfer all data and deal with it once it's a shape file. And these are s separated into... Uh, Four categories these just are the point features the area features the line features and something that all three shape files would share okay now what we want to do is we want to come up to here where it says fil position filter and we want to make sure this uncorrected is checked. Now once that's been done, what this does, it allows uh, any data point to be transferred over. It doesn't have to be verified through another program. So then you just click OK. And then you come up to here and you click OK again. Actually, uh, make sure you put it somewhere where you can save it and find it. So I'm going to save it to... Uh, the desktop and you just click OK um, no Esri projection file has been found you wish to continue to export just click yes and as you can see everything was exported so we can close that we can minimize now we can open up our arc map going to go to the add data we're going to go up to where we saved it and 
and as you can see now we have it so now we can manipulate it we can represent it in different ways and that's how you export data collected from a GPS from Pathfinder and convert it into a shapefile.